Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Silkworm on the Amstrad CPC. I'm playing this on my 6128. Um, it, this is a game that I really, I really like on um, a lots of different formats. I think it's one of those kind of um, particularly good shoot 'em ups. It's clever because you've got a helicopter and you've got a jeep, and they kind of work together. Anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to put this on uh, zero. I'm going to start with that. I think I'm going to be. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the helicopter because I'm joystick zero, so let's do that. So you've got these little guys, um and I don't know what the keyboard is for the the vehicle at the bottom. There we go. So you it's basically a two player game and, and and you work together as the helicopter and as the Jeep. And Jeep can do bits and pieces as well. It can jump and it can fly along and it shoots up at an angle, unlike the helicopter which shoots at a different uh, they're down at an angle, which makes sense obviously. Um and then we've got these bases here, which I think if we destroy we get special things out of. No, not that one. It's actually quite good. I was quite, I was quite, I wasn't not sure what I was expecting here. Now this is a boss thing coming in. You see the bit at the bottom there? It's flying along the screen. That's a boss um, vehicle that's coming in there. Normally, by the way, you can start between either being the helicopter or the jeep. You don't have to be one or the other. And this is the boss thing here forming. You see how the bits are coming in there? I always thought it looked a bit like. Um, some kind of goose or, 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 or swan or something because of the way it sort of has a neck you'll see when it forms that it has this kind of neck that's working quite well actually I'm quite surprised how well this works ah uh, there we go that's the special on the floor there so if we shoot that and we can collect it for extra firepower oh damn it just died that's the hell that's I think the jeep's got one more I'll collect that for extra firepower or shield should I say it. and then if we shoot it more it explodes and does that but as I say it's got kind of a long neck hasn't it I mean that's and that's why I always thought it was kind of like a, a, a goose oh get that missed it double fire though already and it just scrolls along and it shoots and it's based on an arcade game of the same name um, and I just I just always thought it was very good I always quite enjoyed it. it it's it's very straightforward it's very simple in its in its in its design but it works and it plays really nicely I mean you can't really beat that and really nicely playing games are good right here we go it's the big boss that was like a sub mini boss I should have, should have said that earlier there we go got him really easily actually Poor helicopter. Poor, 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 poor Jeep's dead. Now the 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 um the next version of this was called Swiv. Um, and I can't remember that what the initials stand for. Actually, put it in the comments below, please. If you do remember what Swiv stands for, uh, Swiv is the, like the next next version of it. Now that was top down rather than um uh, side scrolling like this one. So you were like above the Jeep and above the helicopter, which worked fine for the helicopter, but I never thought it worked quite as well for the Jeep. Um, okay, yeah, for the Jeep's area of, of movement here was quite limited. But I still think it was quite. I still think it worked quite well. I'll blow that up. Get rid of the missiles. Yeah, quite limited in the where it could actually go to. So I must try the arcade game version of this again. Actually, one of those games I quite like. Would quite like to try again. But it's really good though. You've got raining bullets everywhere. You, you know, it's a little wee bit of slowdown when you get a lot on the screen. But it it still works. It's probably not quite as fast. As, as the Spectrum version, however, it is nice to see that it's a proper Amstrad um, uh, a sort of a creation of the, in the sense that we've got the full, we've got the palette going on and all the other things. They could have gone further with the palette. I do like the explosions though, they're, they're sort of really sort of well sort of coloured, um, but you could have gone further. You could, I think you could, have, you could have been a little bit more liberal with those, the, 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 what I would call, the, the, the Amstrad palette for me was, is, is very much what I would call an arcade palette. It was, it feels like it was designed by somebody who went have you seen these arcade games they're so bright and they're so you know um, vivid in their in their looks um, and I think that, that, that somebody designed it with that in mind I think that was the that was the that was the issue I like the way it's kind of jerks around a little bit as you shoot at it look see how it jerks around oh god when it's not blowing me up um, there we go times two get that there we go the firepower's increased and that's another boss already Ah, what a missile it's got there. Yeah, so I, I do. I, I think somebody actually went, yeah, let's do that. Because, I mean, at the, the time, the, 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 the Commodore 64's palette, well, that was very, well, it was very 
brown, wasn't it? I mean, that's the thing about it. It was a very brown palette, whereas the, the Amstrad really went the whole hog and sort of... Um, the Spectrum had the, had it had its sort of eight colours that were, you know, it could have them in darker or lighter, or, and I mean, that's basically it. Um, it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't very good. And, of course, it had text as well, whereas the Amstrad was much more... Somebody had actually thought about this one and thought thought what we can we do with these with this with this palette. So so I do appreciate the effort that went with that. There we go, got the credit it made it a bomb. Yeah, I do appreciate the arcade palette in this. It's really nice. I don't think I've ever seen the Commodore 64's version of this actually, to be honest with you. I imagine it's quite dull green, really, and unfortunately. Now the Commodore 64, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend it here a little bit when it comes to its palette. Now I'm, I understand that there was an awful lot of effort made um, by the by the developers of it to create a subtle palette that that was easy to interlink with each other. Unfortunately, it's a little bit. It just it just turned out to be more pastel than than, than anything else. Whereas the as I say the, the the Amstrad was was designed with just selling it to the masses, and obviously the masses were playing arcade games at that time. So so I do I I, I, I appreciate that that somebody went to the trouble of making that. A, a, a pastel palette for the for, for the for the Commodore, and I could see what they were what they were attempting to do with the limited resources they have. Um, as I say, though, we were all playing arcade games, so I, I think it was a little wasted in that sense. I'd far rather have a nice gaudy, loud um, arcade style palette than I would. Oh, it's got my game over. It's good that though. That's really good. I can highly recommend um, um, Silkworm on the on the, on the uh, Amstrad CPC. I can I can also recommend it on the, the Spectrum, and I can also rec well, I can't recommend anything else. But those are the two versions I played. Spectrum version is really good as well. Um, it doesn't. It's monochrome in the Spectrum, but uh, it's on my channel actually. Have a little look. Have a look on the channel. See see the Spectrum version. But uh, no, that really worked quite well. I quite enjoyed that one. Anyway, I've been your host, Real United Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.